Our tourism has been badly affected following the July 5th riot in Urumqi, that's the capital of the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. Our three weeks after that incident, what used to be a popular travel destination is trying to get back on its feet so that it will not miss out on the peak travel season. Xie Zhong tells us more. Dancing to the ethnic Uyghur tunes is a major attraction for tourists. About an hour's drive from central Urumqi, the Tianqi Lake, or Heavenly Lake, is a place for relaxation for urban residents and a must for travelers from outside of Xinjiang. My impression of Xinjiang, very nice, very clean, friendly people, really friendly people, yes, and um, a lot of uh, different cultures. Good food, because <laughs> I like to eat, so very good food, yes. And uh, nice, very nice, the, the scenery is beautiful, yes. So far, very good. I was a little worried to come after the problems three weeks ago, but I found that the situation was uh, okay. I was reassured. <laughs> but the riot has indeed posed a threat to the tourism industry here. Thousands of trips were cancelled. Government agencies are now trying to boost the industry by lowering administration fees and the cost of accommodation. So far, the measures have seen some results. Before the riot, we had more than 5,000 visitors each day, but that number dropped to about 500 after the riot. Now we have 1,500 on weekdays and more than 2,000 on Saturdays and Sundays. But industry insiders admit the bigger challenge is boosting the confidence of tourists. Weeks after the riot, travelers are returning to Xinjiang. Yet the full recovery of the tourism industry is still a challenge. Aftab Ahmad is from Pakistan. He has been selling souvenirs in Wurumqi for more than a decade. He is worried that his business will come under greater pressure if it takes too long for the whole tourism industry to recover. Because this business belongs to that uh, tourist. If tourists come from other uh, other city, they purchase these things. Everybody afraid, so nobody come. No business. Aftab Ahmed considers himself a local Wurumqi resident. He said he and his fellow vendors hope the government will do more to reassure people from outside the region so that more people will come to visit. Zhejiang CCTV, Wurumuchi.